you listed a handful of teams that you think will be in the mix here. The Hurricanes, the Avs, the Oilers, the Rangers, the Golden Knights. I'm sure there's even more who are going to be calling the Pittsburgh Penguins in the next couple of weeks here. Uh, but which one of these five do you maybe think is the most intriguing fit for Gensel? Just from a pure, pure fit perspective, to me, it's the Carolina Hurricanes. Like, what have we talked about the last number of years? They're missing the true difference maker, the finisher, the guy that could put that team over the top. Why can't what Jake Gensel and Sidney Crosby are together, why can't that be Gensel and Sebastian Ajo? I know two different players, but um, I think in terms of what that impact could look like, having a running mate, and for a Canes team that, potentially has the ability to re-sign him given the shuffle that they're going to have in their lineup. Tavo Teravainen's up at the end of this season. Same thing with Brett Pesci and Brady Shea. That to me, just they've also got the capital. They've got the assets. They've, they haven't they have been a team that swung big in the past. They tried to get Timo Meyer. Why not north of a point per game guy and Jake Gensel, who I kind of made the point in the story is these guys are so rarely available. It's, you're talking like once every five years, more or less, is basically what we're looking at in terms of the number of point per game guys that have been traded over the last 10, 15 years. It doesn't happen often. They don't normally make it available. Typically, point per game guys are playing on playoff bound teams for one, and two, they're typically signed to long term extensions. So that's the other part about this, though, for Pittsburgh is. When you look historically at the market, when these guys have moved, Matt Duchesne going from Ottawa to Columbus, the Bo Horvat deal last year, who just kind of had one exceptional year as opposed to being a true point-per-game guy over his career, the return is kind of underwhelming relative to what some of the lesser rentals go for. And that's really kind of one of the perplexing things of the NHL's trade market is that there isn't much more of a significant premium placed on adding such a big impact player like Gensel. What's up, hockey fans? If you enjoyed that video, then you need to be hitting the subscribe button right here at Daily Faceoff. Exclusive interviews and analysis from our hockey insider, Frank Saravalli, fantasy updates from Brock Sagan, and a daily live show at noon Eastern, Monday through Friday. You don't want to miss any of the fantastic content, so hit that subscribe button.